Whenever a planet is in the habitable zone of its star, it means that the temperature is warm enough for water to remain in a liquid state instead of evaporating like it would, say, on Venus, or freezing like it would on Mars. And the Kepler-22 star is almost exactly like our Sun. It's a slightly smaller G-type star, which means it has a surface temperature of around 5,500 Kelvin. That's 5,200 degrees Celsius. Not too bad for a distant star system, except one thing. This exoplanet, Kepler-22b, is a lot bigger than Earth. I don't see how that's a problem. It's just more surface to love. I mean, sure, it might have stronger gravity or, like, earthquakes. Kepler quakes? But, like, Earth has earthquakes, too, and it's doing just fine. The larger size of the exoplanet might indicate the presence of a thick atmosphere, leading to high surface pressure. This could result in water existing in a supercritical state, neither a true liquid nor gas, making it less God, suitable for life as we know it. It's true. Scientists think Kepler-22b might be covered with a liquid ocean, but they can't be sure what that ocean is like. Your mission is to land down there and test the water and the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, land. So uh, here goes the landing sequence. almost an hour and all I see is water water everywhere water I think I can land here seriously Kepler you are one disappointing exoplanet Ugh, give up Rico wake me up if you see any land My sensors read land right below us. You are cleared for landing. Seriously? I can't even take a nap. Ugh. Okay, let's land. 